Dane County's top executive took an unusual step today. He all but called out the Dane County Sheriff's Office for not releasing enough information on the Quadren Wilson shooting. Naomi Coles is outside of the jail where Wilson continues to be held on bond. Naomi, why is this unusual? Yeah, County Executive Joe Parisi issued a statement today. He said there hadn't been enough transparency in the Dane County Sheriff-led investigation. Now, county officials calling each other out like this is not normal here right now. A quick recap, Wilson remains in jail after his family says he was shot five times when 21 state and local officers cornered his car on the east side on February 3rd. Dane County wasn't involved. They're the third party that was asked to investigate. While the sheriff finally named the state agents who shot their guns that day, Day, the sheriff's office still hasn't even said directly that the agent shot Wilson. Parisi says the level of transparency is not acceptable. You know, this is not a comfortable thing to do to, you know, have to address, you know, law enforcement leadership in this way. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying, what I'm trying to do is give voice to a lot of people in this community who are kind of scratching their heads and saying, what's going on here? Um, why aren't we hearing more about what's going on? He says he did not talk to the sheriff first privately and didn't consult other local leaders first before putting out his statements. In a statement, the sheriff defended his process, saying, quote, while inquiries and community expectations of transparency are understandable, the sheriff's office must take care to protect the integrity of the investigation, end quote. Now, Wilson's family has said he was shot five times in the back. Court records show that he was wanted for a for giving drugs to a in, in an incident that eventually led to an overdose of a person almost a year ago. The sheriff's office said Friday they have not found evidence that Wilson was armed.